The world has suffered many great splits. Charles and Diana, Victoria Beckham, Berlin, the great continent of Pangaea, the banana splits. No. In my book, A Cardinal Sin, I mentioned two great splits that the Roman Catholic Church has also suffered, during which those who would not toe the line stopped towing the line. The first, the Great East-West Schism. Schism. I do love the word schism. I do need to use that more, don't I? You know, the banana schisms. Anyway, the first, the Great East-West Schism, occurred officially on the 16th of July, 1054, when both sides managed to excommunicate each other during what was surely a memorable service in the Hagia Sophia Cathedral, Constantinople. This created the Eastern Orthodox Church. The second, the Protestant Reformation, officially started on Halloween 1517, when Martin Luther nailed his theses now you have to be very careful when you say that, because it, it's, it's, he could nail it. <laughs> I mean, it would depend on where it was on the Bristol stool chart. <laughs> well, Martin Luther nailed his theses to the door of the Castle Church, Wittenberg, Germany. The question is, could our latter-day non-towers of the line, the Roman Catholic women priests, really cause such a massive split? In my book, A Cardinal Sin, I try to present in an unbiased way the pros and the cons, the whys and wherefores, the fors and the gains, the merits and the drawbacks, but let me not get carried away. Let me stop gilding the lily, or over-egging the pudding, or excessively embellishing the embroidery, or playing both the bells and the whistles.